what we're really here to talk about, the real question on everyone's mind, what's going on with NDI? You know, what is it? Why would I use it? Why would I care about it? And I think a good kind of introductory point for folks who may not be familiar with NDI as a protocol or as a tool in their production arsenal um, is to just break down what is it. So, um, so Lynn, you know, can you talk a little bit about what NDI is, you know, what those three letters stand for and, and kind of how you might want to use it in a production setting? Sure. So NDI stands for Network Device Interface. It's created by NewTek, uh, which was bought by VizRT. So essentially it is it allows uh, any camera uh, to come in. It's a protocol that allows a camera or a device to come in uh, via your network without having to connect via SDI or an HDMI, for example. So the benefits are that anything on your network can really be accessible to anyone in a production. And um, you don't have all the wires. So, you know, th that's that's the basic benefit. So it just makes it easier to bring in lots of different cameras and devices, uh, even if you don't have the inputs on your computer or the capture cards. Um, and secondarily, they are doing a lot of work, they meaning uh, New Tech or NDI are doing a lot of work to expand this so that uh, it becomes more accessible across wide area networks as well, across the, the greater cloud, if you will. Uh, and so that is becoming more and more of a possibility where you can send and set up uh, NDI feeds that are accessible to someone across the country or across the world. So it, it's a very powerful way of bringing in um, bringing in sources into your wirecast or any any uh, live stream that you have going and we're hearing more and more and i'd love to hear actually of anybody who's watching i'd love to hear how you're using wire um using ndi today and uh what's your setup how many cameras or how many sources you have coming in via ndi i'd love to hear that that's all really interesting to me to because I'm uh, anecdotally, we're getting more and more reports of people using this as the backbone or as a, a really important piece of their broadcasts. And so that's important for me to know. Yeah. And, and Lynn, as you mentioned, you know, more and more people are finding NDI to be kind of a crucial piece of their broadcast and production workflow. Right. Um, you know, I think one of the big takeaways is that you need to download these NDI tools onto your computer in order to have access to this kind of functionality. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and pay for a bunch of stuff or, you know, get a bunch of complicated plugins and all that stuff. These NDI tools are readily available and free to download for the masses, right, Julian? Yeah, uh, so that was something I was going to key in on if you didn't mention it again. Uh, NDI tools, completely free, just Google NDI tools. Uh, I recommend everyone who's doing any sort of workflow that would require NDI at all, just download them. They're 100% free and it's good to have. You never know when you want to pull in a laptop or send over a feed or even using their studio monitor to just make sure your NDI feeds are coming in nice and clear.